Hey everybody, this is AJ with Car Inspected. Today we are in Mississauga and we're looking at this 2013 Kia Rio with 27,000 kilometers on it. Overall, it's in pretty good condition. I did a paint thickness verification and I see no signs of repaint or repair or major issue. Headlights all look good, everything looks pretty nice. There's a few very minor dings on the driver, on the passenger side door along this body line here. Other than that, there's one on the other side which I'll show you, but the exterior looks pretty good other than that. All the windows are original Kia windows, so nothing's been replaced or anything of that nature. Rear bumper looks good with no signs of damage or anything like that. Uh, this Here's the ding on the driver's side rear door, right in this area here. See that? There we go, right there. A little scratch and a little dent. Whether or not this side looks just as good as the rest. Roof is good, it's not equipped with a sunroof or anything. Windshield looks good. It is the original Kia windshield and there is no cracks or anything like that in it. There's a uh, quick VIN verification here. And it does match here. So we have no issues there. Look at the brakes and tires. These tires are Kumos, uh, 2012, so they are probably original to the car, especially since the kilometers is so low. There's 8 30 seconds of tread and nice even tread wear, things like that. Our brakes are pretty hard to show you with these type of rims, but they are looking pretty good. I'd say there's probably 75% or so left on them. Undercarriage looks nice. I don't see any damage, uh, axles or anything like that. <clears throat> no leaks, it's all pretty dry. Everything looks pretty good under here. It also looks like you can see from here that the vehicle has been undercoated for rust proofing. So it's all in pretty good shape. I don't see any rust or any signs of issue. We rock around the passenger front. This tire is again a matching 2012. There's a date for you uh, with 8.30 seconds of tread. Nice and even tread wear. Brakes match the other side, about 75% or so. And suspension components all look pretty good. Just like the other side. No signs of issue. Overall, this car is conducive to the low kilometers. Looks like it was well taken care of, not driven too often, etc. Rear tires are still matching 2012 Kumos with about 8 30 seconds of tread and nice even tread wear. Rear brakes look pretty new as well, at least 75% on them. Under here, the exhaust looks good. Some surface stuff, but uh, it is to be expected, is a 2013. But oh, for the most part, everything looks nice and clean. Like I said, it's been uh, rust proof, so there's no signs of rust or anything like that. And this final tire, again, is a matching 2012 Kumo with 8.30 seconds of tread with no signs of issue. Rear brakes are just as good as the other side. And under here, it looks just as nice as well. I'm going to look at the interior for a minute. Here we are inside the hatch. Looks nice and clean. No signs of major wear and tear or damage or anything like that. No scratches or anything. This may have never been used for any kind of storage. Uh, there's no spare tire, but there is a compressor and stuff, uh, I guess for a patch. For uh, run flat. Well, not run flat, just the patch. The interior also presents pretty much as new, especially the back seat. Door panels look very nice. Rear seat looks good with no signs of issue. They fold down as they should. Still have some of the plastic protective stuff here and there on them. So like I said, very little use on this vehicle. The floors look nice. Seat backs look good, not kick marks or anything like that. All pretty clean. Headliner is nice and clean as well.
Driver's front door looks nice with no issues, as well as the driver's, I mean, I'm part of the passenger side, sorry. Passenger side, uh, seat looks nice. Again, no signs of issue or anything like that. All looks pretty good. Carpets look good. Glove compartment, the owner's manual is in here. So we have no issues. Top of the dash looks good. Everything looks pretty nice. Overall, the interior is in like new condition, I would say. This side of the back seat is just as nice as the other side, with no issues. A little dirt in the carpet there, but nothing much. All looks pretty good, and these seats do fold just as they should. Oops, the bell got caught there. One second. There we go. And the driver's side. Door panel looks just nice. The rest, carpet looks nice. Minimal wear on there and nothing underneath. Put a little plastic on the seat here. But it all looks pretty nice. Dashboard looks good as well. Get that key out, so I'm not making all this noise. Everything looks pretty nice. All the knobs work. I have the AC going, radio works, all this stuff, nothing's broken. I'll show you real quick. Air conditioning's on. Radio works, air conditioning's on, that works. No dash lights or anything, there we go, 26, 7, 19. Everything looks pretty good. Take a quick look under the hood. Which is another spot we find no issues. So here we are under the hood. Belts and hoses all look nice. I see no signs of leaks or anything like that. No damage, no rust. Uh, I checked your engine oil, which is right here. And we got a green light and then there's no frothing or anything like that in the engine. Uh, your coolant was nice and clean and sitting at negative 43, so we have no issues there. Battery is a genuine Kia battery, and uh, it's sitting at just under 13 and charging at 14.6, so we're good there. Brake fluid, which is under here, uh, looked good. We're at 0% humidity, so we have no issues there either. Overall, it looks pretty good. It seems to run smooth. Uh, I ran OBD diagnostics. And we have no codes present, no cleared codes, no issues that I find. Now we're going to take it on a test drive and make sure it drives well. And that's that. As usual, thanks for watching. This is AJ with Car Inspected. We'll see you next time.